Welcome back to Wolfenstein, the New Order. I've just arrived in this lab here, found some secret plans for something called a dot you should, and we need to procure a couple helicopter things to help the resistance. Let's take a look around. Dot you should artifacts. Damn, that was strong. Look at that, you can like cut a huge piece out of it and it doesn't even crack. When in doubt, press E a bunch of times while you run around. I think this is, yeah, this is where we get introduced to the more powerful laser. It's going to allow us to cut through these things. Gotta be a way in there. Let's get it to cut itself out of there. get up there to cut it. One more. Yeah, that helps. Right. Let's fire it up. Any secrets up here? Thing looks like it weighs 200 pounds. Laser craft work. Oh. Oh, it's got modes. Yes, yeah, so you can cut thin metal covers. Toggle between shooting and cutting mode. I forgot that this also has a, a shooting mode. If I remember right, it's really good against anything with our. I see a small planning channel behind the north wall. Look for some form of access point near the floor. I think it's really good for anybody who's armored. Anybody or anything that's armored. Uses a lot of energy, though. Yeah, so now we have access to these... These, uh... Better crates. Instead of just the wood ones. These tend to have better stuff in them, I think. Because they take more effort. Is there anything else I could use this on? I gotta keep an eye out for that. That, like. This texture. I still love how you can just arbitrarily cut out shapes. It's so cool. I guess it's not entirely arbitrary. Seems like you can't cut tiny, tiny shapes out. Like you're limited to a certain size. It's got to be a certain minimum size. But still, it's almost arbitrary. About two floors up is an access point leading directly into the hangar. Do I want to do this? I don't think I do. I guess I could do it from here so I'm not on it. Did that do something? Huh, maybe it's just for fun.
<laughs> what the hell kind of a sound is that? It's not what breaking through a wood pellet should sound like. Oh my god. Please, let me through. Really? Stubborn. Two commanders. Ooh, that's not a good position to be in. That body's gonna be seen. Ooh. Used to be easier. You didn't have big honking robots, and I had an army. Well, shit. All right then. I think I just gotta deal with the robots now. Dual shotguns... Actually, dual shotguns will be great against the robots if I can stun them, which I should be able to do with a grenade. Yeah, that worked great. Um, let's test out this, though. I'm out. Oh, I thought I killed it. Uh oh. There we go. Completely out of ammo with that. Ooh, full automatic upgrade. And marksman.
Okay, I think there's like a boss in this arena that I've got to fight. So I should definitely... Oh, nuts. Well, there it is. <laughs> I need some materials. Yeah, I don't know if staying put's the right thing to do. Um, let's go recharge. Actually, let's get some more stuff first. grenades would be effective at all. Oh, that's the only one I had. Oh, wait. Okay. We'll have to do for now. I just play cat and mouse with this thing. Oh, got it. Right, Nazi's dead. Nazi robots dead. Broke all your shit. Helicopter secure. <laughs> Broke all your shit. How did you survive? I thought you were dead. Don't remember much. Remember punching Hans Gross in the face. Remember ascending into the sky. For a moment there, I thought it was going to heaven. Then falling, then pain. First pain of my life. Felt like my insides were running out through my back. Could barely move. Had to crawl. So they found me after three days in a ditch. Long months in a Kreisauer hospital bed. They were shoving tubes in me. Infection. Ugh, these things I don't want to remember. I'm sorry about your legs. Don't be. I've learned how to fly. Thank <laughs> you. 
trust me. This is top priority. What is the dot ye should? How can we get in contact with them? Anya, what do we know? Very little, but I have some ideas. Good. Anya, you take the lead on this. Blaskovich, whatever she needs, you help her find it, yeah? William, I could use your help. Could you come over here for a second? I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes. Everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for a closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. What? That'll be all. We can go now. Search for moldy concrete. Yeah, if you haven't seen or played this game yourself, then you're in for a, uh, I guess, treat with what the dot you should actually is. I won't spoil too much, but it's basically Jewish super technology. Basically Jewish magic, to be honest. Bobby's a letter. You can read that if you'd like. Can I talk to Jay? Still can't. Looks like I get a better view of them playing the guitar before they were, like, facing the corner. Beautiful guitar. Oh, what the hell is this? Mold spores coming from the vent. Where is the intake? That's mold spores? All that? That can't be good. People live here. Um, so remember the thing I found a while ago? Where it looked like I could cut through it if I had the upgraded version of the cutter, which I now do. I wonder if that's a bonus thing or if I need to go there. Either way, what, either way I want to check it out. Hey, soldier man. Huh? Keep the door to the archives, you know, like, locked, actually. I think maybe Wyatt has a key. Thanks, Jay. to the archives. You got them? Yes, I think so. Perfect. Gosh dang perfect. What do you got there? Dog tanks. Wing Commander Fergus Reed of the Royal Air Force took those off of his dead body, wanted to return him to the RAF, but then there was no RAF. Best damn pilot I ever saw in a hell of a soldier. I'm not cut out for this, you know? Cut out for what? This. Everything. I was 18 years old, and suddenly the war was lost. Everything good in the world died. Somehow I was the one supposed to pick up the pieces and keep the resistance going, take on the whole gosh darn Nazi empire. You think I was ready for that kind of responsibility? My ignorance got so many good people killed. Remember Private Prendergast? You know, that guy, he could survive anything. So tough. Well, I got him killed, sent him out on a mission, and he never came back. I just didn't know any better. 
Wing Commander Fergus Reed. He wouldn't know what to do. He could have saved so many. I made the wrong choice. You made a stupid choice! Yes, you did! You left the boy in charge of a man's work. I should have died on that day, Captain, on that slab, and Fergus Reed should have lived. I'm not a child anymore, Captain. I know when mistakes were made. There. Leave me alone now, you hear? That's a similar conversation to how it is when you choose to leave Fergus alive. It's a little bit different though. I mean, they both have survivor's guilt, but when you leave Fergus alive, he has a bit more survivor's guilt. Like, he seems practically suicidal. Um, not that Wyatt is really doing all that much better, but I think Wyatt is a little bit of survivor's guilt, but also more than that, just completely overwhelmed, like he said, with all the responsibility he had to take on, given how inexperienced he was and, and young. So very similar conversations, but a little bit different. Mold detergent. I like to keep this area clean. I'm not sure what that comments for, honestly. Like I feel like they're trying to give you a hint with the uh, mold spores coming out of the vent, or this place has a can of mold detergent. They're trying to give you like a hint about maybe where to go look for the mold, the moldy concrete. But I don't think it being this being up here helps with anything. All right, I think we need to go down. Can't talk with him. There's a batch of mold. Need a circular saw to cut a sample. Gotta be some power tools nearby. Mr. Big Cheese, you're in the sewer system now. You will find your way back here if you have a look around, yeah? All right, Klaus, back to work. This assessment is not going to perform itself. Nobody has a rope or anything they could give me? Oh shit. Oof. They neglected to tell me that there's turrets down here. the rising sun. It's cool that when you have the more powerful laser, not only does it allow you to cut the things that you couldn't before, but it allows you to cut the old things faster. Like, that chain broke really fast, way faster than it would have with the old one.
out of power pretty much. So yeah, they're doing the thing that they do pretty often here where they disempower you. They get rid of pretty much all your weapons and then they give you just the laser weapon and then you start to find your old weapons again like I just found the shotgun. It's kind of interesting. Keeps things a little bit fresh. Yeah, fuck you. What the damn hell are you doing? Science project. Well, you're scaring Max. That's not Sorry, pal. Didn't know he'd flip out like that. That his son? No. Well, kind of. I don't know. So not his son. Used to be Klaus had a son, born during the war, a miracle, he called it. So he had tried for years to have a child, him and his wife. Yeah, well, he'd make a pretty good father for a Nazi. The child was born with a club foot. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Then secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. So wife died from a bullet to the head. The child, too. Klaus could not protect them. So he blames himself. I think so. And he will never forgive the Nazis. Maybe check on Max. See if he's okay. Oh, hey little robot. Yes, there's a, a bunch of toys that you can find. Looks like there's three more, judging by the icons on the top left of the screen. Uh, Blast toys from, from X. I'm trying to remember how to get back to that place where I could laser cut that thing. Where was that? Can I even get back there at the moment? Don't know. Oh yeah, so every time you come back here... Like every new day, you can craft another one of these things. Another one of the armor upgrades. And a little while ago, I mentioned permanent health upgrades. And I was wondering if that was connected to Fergus. Uh, where's that bed? Yeah, this one here. So yeah, if you leave Fergus alive, instead of the armor upgrades, you get permanent uh, max health upgrades. And that allows you to sleep in this bed every single day. And when you wake up, there's like a, a health upgrade on this table right here. I think, yeah, one of the toys are in here. Another toy on the run. This place is an organizational nightmare. Papers everywhere. Oh, hey. Wait a minute. What's that? Can I get there? I can't be there for nothing, right? Eh, yeah, seems like you can't get up there. Such a tease. You belong to Max. I'll get you home. Interesting. 
So, inside of Carolyn's room, there's a little secret place back here that had uh, Max's one of Max's toys that you just saw. And then there's this little grate here that you go through, which takes you up here. Speaking of which, how the hell did Max or uh, Blazkowicz fit through that? I don't even think Blazkowicz's head would fit through that, let alone the rest of their body. They're huge. Uh, anyway, up here. What was that? Oh my god. Huh. That's a neat little detail. Uh, yeah, it takes you to this secret little place up here, and then... Uh, I'm guessing Max. This is probably Max's little hideout. Little kind of pillow fort thing. And also, it takes you back here. Which you might recognize as this back here is the place I was trying to get to. It had, I think, some sort of collectible or, or gold or something was back here. And I could never find the way here. Now I can, however, the gold is missing. Which means there must have been a way to get it before, because it disappears if you don't get it. Ah, here's the final one. Hey, toy. All I had was a pine cone and a box of matches. I don't think that quest actually really, you know, does anything in particular. Just helps them out. Feels nice to do. Thank you, William. Give me some time to analyze this. I think I'm onto something. Find what you were looking for in the archives? Yep. Got something. Ube concrete. The essential building material of the Reich. It's based on a dot issue technology. It's almost perfect, but it's deteriorating through time, developing mold. Someone is tempering with a mix. Someone who knows its secrets. I analyzed it and found a trace of this type of limestone that exists only in northern Croatia. Now, look at this. The name Set Roth. It appears three times in dot e shoot documents. According to official records, he's been detained in 1941 in Wuj and sent off to a forced labor camp in Belice in northern Croatia. Now, this is where things get interesting. The labor camp excavates limestone from a quarry for a manufacture of bibe concrete. I believe this is the place where we'll find said broth. A living member of Dot Egypt. The problem is, there are so many unknowns. This is an old man, chances are he's dead already. We can't assault a site of this magnitude and hope to locate him before the whole damn Nazi army arrives. What is the plan? Someone needs to go in there and find him. Go undercover. <laughs> Any volunteers? You ready for this, Blaskovich? So stupid. How oh, arrogant. No one is ever ready for something like this.
like cattle in this place. You just stay calm. Remember the mission. Find, set, raw. Count to four. Before we get too far into the prison, I think it's a good place to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed it so far. When I return, we're going to try to find Set Roth. <laughs>